Hello and welcome to the Tech Bytes audio cast. My name's Tim and I'm from the Oak Bytes Blogazine and with me is Dr. Roy Shesterwitz from the Tech Rights website. It's Friday night and I'm gonna get sauce. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. He tried to boss me and was outbossed. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost Underneath his creeper bridge Hoping goats will cross Quoting Ashcroft and Tom Ridge Hello and welcome to Tech Bytes Audio Cast episode 76. I'm Tim and I'm back again. And I'm here with Roy as usual for a new series of uh, Tech Bytes. I believe this is going to be the first of many, hopefully, at work meeting. So without further ado, I'll pass it over to Roy and we can start the show. Hi everyone, so some people will be able to say I've changed my microphone. Uh, like I said in the previous short segment of two minutes, I did decide to uh, use this new season, uh, season three, as an opportunity to kind of change something in the quality and the format, the way we do things. Uh, we are probably, maybe you'll agree with me, you probably uh, still think we should all do it in one go. Uh, no editing, no cutting. Um, no attempts to add any sort of noises to the to the show throughout. That's the way we've done it since the first episode. Yes, yeah, so it seems to work. Um, I, I apologise in advance for any crackling noises because I still suffer with the same age-old problem of having a, uh, a beard of sorts which does interfere with the microphone every so often. So if you hear a crackle, that's not due to bad quality, that's purely due to my beard crackling on the, on the mic. Um, I'm also still using the same headphones and headset that Roy kindly broke when he came around to my house <laughs> <laughs> about six months ago. I think I was maybe no, maybe longer than that now. Well, how long ago was that, Roy? Anyway? Uh, I think it was around March, maybe April yeah. or something. Yeah. So I'm surprised. Uh, it's probably been since about that time that uh, yeah. we've recorded the show. So I'll make it clear. I'll, we, I didn't stop recording with Roy out of uh, annoyance because he broke my headset. Um, it was merely that work-related uh, matters and uh, family-related matters that took me away from, from recording and having as much free time. And we work uh, with, on the Tech Bike show in a way that uh, often we've got maybe an hour, two hours to, to devote to the show. And sometimes our timetables don't uh, don't match because Roy's got his own job as well to do. So uh, thankfully, though, I have a little bit of a holiday, albeit a rather short one of only about four or five days. But uh, plenty of time to uh, put my dulcet tones onto the audio cast and uh, rant about uh, a plethora of topics that we can uh, in the tech world that we can discuss. So, uh, Roy, have you got um, have you got something that we can hit the show off with? Then? We've got plenty of things actually since the previous um, show. We've we've had tons of things, but I think it makes more sense to talk about things that have been in the news for the past uh, say for the past week or so. It would make less less sense to. Uh, you know, moving back to about a month ago and talking about very, very old news that's been buried. Uh, one thing that's, that I'm aware, uh, Richard Stallman is going to do quite soon is criticize, uh, Ubuntu. Now, I cannot give too many details on it because I promise not to tell the content of the, of the pieces he's about to, to release. I've done some fact checking on it. Um, but as you know, one of the controversial things about the release of Ubuntu, which I understand you're using, you can remark on it in a moment, is the privacy uh, issue, specifically the fact that whether you're searching something on the web or searching something around your desktop, there will be a request sent to canonical servers and then to relayed. Uh, if we're using encrypted packets, it will be relayed to Amazon, which will then give you some server. Uh, additional information, metadata or something, for example, images. Um, the problem with that is even if you're searching for something locally in your desktop, it will inform some other company of what you're searching, what you're doing in your computer, which sets a fairly negative precedence for free software in general. Um, so there's been a lot of controversy, which was further fueled when there weren't just people who were users complaining about it, people whom uh, Mark Shuttleworth, in my opinion, very stupidly labeled, you know, trolls, you know, for caring about the privacy. Um, before, of course, the Electronic Frontier Foundation, EFF, decided to write about the issue 
in quite a serious, critical, uh, well-constructed manner, which was difficult to uh, uh, to confront. And soon enough, it's going to be the FSF's founder. So, so it does seem like Ubuntu is going to have a hell of a lot of pressure on it for the fact that they do not quite comply with the, you know, with the common guidelines of privacy. But you have a different opinion on it. If, if you can elaborate on, on your opinion. Yeah, it's 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 a slightly, uh, I dare say, selfish opinion. But at the end of the day, we all make our tech decisions on the basis of what we require, not uh, not so much what other people want or have a problem with. Um, certainly, my precedent or my uh, order of importance in my house is uh, choosing solutions which uh, suit my family first, and then any other uh, issues or, or moral issues can come after that. Um, before I go any further, I haven't looked into switching. Um, the options for switching off this feature. As I understood it, Mark Shuttleworth did comment in his article that this feature could be switched off. But if I put that to one side for a second, I'll explain my usage of Ubuntu. I'm currently using 1204 LTS, so really it's not so relevant for my version of Ubuntu at the present time. But for somebody who uses Amazon quite a lot, I've got a Kindle, which I wholeheartedly support. And my wife uses Amazon for a lot of the uh, large purchases, which she's not able to get out to buy and also find some cheaper, um, either from a reseller on Amazon or Amazon themselves. So for me, it's a very handy feature to have. It certainly wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't be something I would have a problem with using. In terms of local searching, I wonder how much of that is actually an issue anymore. Um, talking about my own personal use, I can't think of the last time I searched for a file on my system that would uh, that would require to use the uh, the search feature for anyway. Uh, I have everything quite well organised um, and we have folded my documents mm-hmm. in my documents folder. My pictures. Yeah. So and really I might if I was doing a search, I think the recent search that I did was just for a specific number of a um of a digital uh, digital image that I'd taken about a year ago. And of course because the images usually have the date in the file name. I was just able to type that and search for that, but it doesn't reveal anything. It's just a number. Um, so for me, there's nothing, nothing of any sort of uh, privacy or anything like that for a concern for me at all. Um, I, I, like I said, I, do, I did see the article about uh, with Mark saying that it could be switched off. I don't know how simple that is. I didn't really read into that because I wouldn't particularly consider it. I don't think it's difficult. I think the controversy then was uh, most people would. You know, people who are very new to Ubuntu, you know, the world of free software, uh, would not know or would not care to do so. Uh, then the argument would go something along the lines of, if you bring people to free software because you want to introduce them to freedom, to privacy, and so on and so forth, uh, you probably don't want to put them in a position where uh, they will feel as though they're getting the same treatment as they do in Mac OS X. And, and Windows. That, at least that's the argument that's going yeah. to be made by Reese Stallman, and I can understand that. We, we cannot argue from a point of view of hypocrisy. Yeah. And if Ubuntu is an operating system that does kind of send some information about your usage on the desktop, and not really an installation of packages, which I think is not so necessary either. It's a um, if it's if it's disabled by default, you could argue that a person who really wants to use it will definitely be in a position where he thinks he would benefit from these shopping oriented, you know, type of results. But uh so so then basically people said, oh, Mark Shuttleworth, why don't you disable it by default? And the reason is they do get some money for <laughs> and by the way it's not just Amazon based on the uh licensing. The licensing actually is a bit of a waiver that's uh that's also naming for whatever reason the BBC and Facebook and we know for a fact that Facebook is sharing its data with Microsoft. In fact, incidentally, I should mention that it was only a few weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago, that uh, Mark Zuckerberg said that he, if he didn't start Facebook and was successful, he would have worked for Microsoft, mm-hmm. which doesn't surprise me, but it's nice to hear him saying it so honestly. So the, the, the connection Facebook's got to Microsoft is quite a interpersonal one. It's not just a... Uh, Take, it's not just a strategic thing. I, I think, f- for me, the, the issues, uh, I've seen many arguments about the Amazon and uh, Ubuntu issue. And for me, I was, it come, becomes a point, especially with a, a company like Canonical, where they do need to make money. And whilst with all the goodwill in the world, that's not going to 
keep the business afloat. It's not going to make it viable. It's not going to promote future uh, future projects. And I think if 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 as long as they're open with any sort of issues that may cause people.